how to copy your Shopify store to a brand new store. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can take your pre-existing Shopify store, like I have this store called Emelyn, and how I can transfer this entire store, including its theme, product, collections, and meta fields, all of that, into this sample store, which is just called my store for now. So I'm going to break it down step by step. Keep in mind that we're going to be using an application to do so. And there is a caveat. The fact is, this is not available for free. You would have to upgrade to a premium. However, there are certain imports you can do for free on these apps. So I'll show you guys the differences between the free version and the paid version as well. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is open up the Shopify dashboard for both of your Shopify stores. I have Emelyn opened up over here and my store opened up over here. For both of these, you're going to go into settings, go into apps and sales channels and open up the Shopify app store. And I'm going to do this side by side because we're going to be following some of the same steps for a couple of seconds. Now, once you've done that, you're just going to search for duplicate in your Shopify app store. Once you do that, you're going to find this application, which is called Duplify Duplicate Your Store. You're going to click on install over here and for your other Shopify app store that you opened up, which is the Shopify app store for the My Store that you're going to be importing your pre-existing store to, you're going to download the Duplify application for that as well. So basically download the Duplify application on both of your Shopify stores. I'm just downloading this and installing it on both of my stores. So I've installed it on my store and I'll just wait for it to be installed on Emelyn as well. I'll just refresh my store over here. I'll have to open this up again and I'll search for Duplify. Where did it go? Yeah, here we have Duplify, duplicate your store, click on install. And now we're going to wait for our Duplify app to be installed on both of our Shopify stores. Now, once you have installed it on both of your Shopify stores, the next step you are going to do, first off, is I'm going to edit this. And the next step that you are going to do is get started with the total export. So we're going to continue on. And you will see this is going to be your screen on both of your stores. So this is my My Store and this is my Shopify store on Emelyn. Now on Emelyn, I will click on Start Export. And then on my My Store Shopify store, I'll copy this code. So once I have copied this code, I'm going to paste it over here. And once I do that, you will see a notification email as well. Now for the notification email, I like to use the email that I've used to create my new store. So that is the email you want to use, whatever is the email address being used for the new store. I'll paste in our code, our unique store key, and then the store name will be inserted. Now, after this, they will give you two options. If you are just checking out Duplify and you want to have an idea of what the exportation will look like, you can click on Start Demo over here to demo or import upwards of five products. And this will import my Shopify products into the other store. So now if I go into my store over here and open a product in my sample store, I have imported my silk blouse. This has automatically been imported as it was the only product present in my Shopify store. So this is just a simple example that they will display so you guys can understand how the importation will work. Once you've done that, you can click on start a full export. Now in this, you can choose what type of export you want. So on the free version, you can't import orders, content files, pages, and blogs, but you can import your product. I want all of the products, product info to be inherited from the source. And I want to export behavior for existing products. Then I have collections that I want them to be imported. Then I also have customers. I want those to be imported. Next up, I want the active themes to be imported. And I want the active theme to directly be published upon export. Then the next thing is pages. I want both of my pages to be exported. 
Then I have redirects and meta fields. So I want all of that info to be imported as well. And let's say I want to only, I'll take a few things. I'm not going to import everything because that can take a uh, longer and I want to show you guys the importation. So I'm going to just select the active theme. You can select everything and then click on start export. You will see it has 50 events total and you will see which plan is recommended. And you can go on ahead and choose the particular plan that you want like this. And this will have a billing and then you can build this to your pre-existing subscription on Shopify. And that can help you in exporting your store from one store to another. Now, this is just one application. There are other applications that can help you in doing this. So if you want to transfer your store from one store to another, a lot of people try to do this because they want to transfer ownership. But if you're looking to only transfer ownership, you don't have to actually duplicate your store. Instead, if you want to directly just transfer sole ownership of your store, you can go into settings on the bottom left and then go into users and permissions. Once you open up users and permissions, you can click on transfer ownership over here and you can add a new store owner, which can help you in transferring proprietorship from one owner to the next. Now, if you are not wanting to use Duplify and you want to look for an alternative, there are certain alternatives that do the same thing. And for that, you have to go back into the Shopify app store and you're going to search for duplicate store over here. And there is this application called Copycat. So here it is. This is a Copycat. And Copycat is another really amazing uh, store duplicator. As you guys can see, you can try it for free and duplicate upwards of 10 products per month with your new store. Then you can duplicate pages, collections, and blogs with the basic plan on the Copycat store duplicator. Then you also have the pro version where you can duplicate upwards of a thousand products per month, including unlimited pages, collections, and blogs. And then you can do complete copying or duplication of your store with their unlimited plan. Now, keep in mind that almost no store duplicator is completely available for free. So it's best to just do a price comparison and see which one suits your needs the best. Duplify is a bit more expensive, but it has all its features included. And usually for an entire store, it takes upwards of like, it takes like 500 events and you can use a thousand events per month with their $79 per month plan. Now, if you want to use the other tool, you will see that Copycat is less expensive, but their features are limited. So you can't exactly export everything with their basic or pro plans, which is why I do recommend Duplify as the better store duplicator. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to copy your Shopify store to a new store on Shopify. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.